calculating the density of an irregular solid by kscience.com. This here is an irregular solid. You can't work out the volume of this solid by using the equation length times width times height. So I'm going to show you how to calculate the volume of this solid and then use the density equation to work out the density for this solid. So to work out the mass of this irregular shaped solid, you must put the solid onto a balance. You must put the solid onto a balance. So the mass of this solid is 30 grams, or 0 0.03 kilograms. So we use the balance to measure the mass of this irregular shaped solid. But how do you work out the volume of this irregular shaped solid? So what you've got here is a eureka can and a measuring cylinder. So what you need to do is fill the eureka can to the very top, so it's a full eureka can. But the measuring cylinder must be empty. So you fill the eureka can to the top with water. You then get your irregular shaped solid and you place the irregular shaped solid into the full eureka can. This irregular shaped solid is then going to displace the water. So it's going to force the water to rise because it is displacing the water. So any water that rises is going to be transferred into the empty measuring cylinder. And the volume of this water that's been displaced from the Eureka can is going to equal the volume of the irregular shaped solid. So remember, we've got the mass of the irregular shaped solid, which is 30 grams. And the measuring cylinder filled up with 10 centimeters cubed of water. So the mass of the irregular shaped solid was 30 grams. So 10 centimeters cubed of water was displaced from the full Eureka can into the measuring cylinder and the volume of the irregular shaped solid is 10 centimeters cubed. So to work out the density of this irregular shaped solid, you recall the equation P equals M divided by V. Density equals mass divided by volume. You can substitute in the numbers, 30 grams divided by 10 centimeters cubed gives you a density for this irregular shaped solid of three grams per centimeters cubed. So the density is three grams per centimeters cubed. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So we want to work out the mass of this irregular shaped solid. We've got the density of this regular shaped solid, which is seven grams per centimeters cubed. So to calculate the irregular shaped solid's mass, we require the volume. So you fill up a Eureka can, so it's full to the top, and then you put a measuring cylinder beneath it. You then place the irregular shaped solid into the full Eureka can. The irregular shaped solid is then going to displace the water. The displaced water is going to exit the Eureka can and be transferred into the empty measuring cylinder. So 12 centimeters cubed of water is displaced from the Eureka can and into the measuring cylinder. So to work out the mass of this object, you recall the equation density P equals mass M divided by volume V. So we've got density P, which is seven grams per centimeter cubed, got the volume which is 12 centimeters cubed so we need to rearrange the equation for m m equals p times v so you substitute in the numbers mass equals density which is 7 grams per centimeters cubed times by the volume which is 12 centimeters cubed that gives you a mass for this irregular shaped object of 84 grams so the mass is 84 grams it's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.